The Chateau of Versailles, like Alcine's palace, that summer solstice shall flame into the sky and nothing there remain. The king thinks tis vision of a madman, the fruit of a fanciful imagination. Unleash Bonton with all his hoard. Twill be in vain, for time is running out, and I defy the star-like king with all his whirling planets to find the riddle of the scheme with titles, heads, and Aesop's words that set alight my flaming brands, the frogs and Jupiter. <laughs> it reads like the raving of a lunatic. My service to the king prevents me from looking into this matter. I want you, Lalonde, to take charge of it. As a valet of the bedchamber, you can move about without hindrance. You know the chateau, its people, and its customs. Ask endless questions and report to me when you find anything suspect. But be careful. Don't spread the rumor that a madman is threatening the king. Make haste. You have only one day. Eight and a half hours of the clock. As soon as the king awakens, Dakin, the first doctor, inquires after his health. Did your majesty sleep well? Was your majesty too hot? Would his majesty like to be rubbed down? Thank you, Dakin. Your majesty has been in perfect health these last two months. While Bonton washed the king's hands, the family entrance arrived, as they did every morning. Monsieur, the king's brother, Monseigneur, the Dauphin, and the Duke of Maine came to witness the king. Well, my son, what time did you set out to hunt the wolf this morning? said, Monsieur Mossard, the Prince of Condé has commissioned more work from you at Chantilly. Yes, he is insatiable. The orangery is no sooner finished than he begins to demand that the little chateau be embellished. You have already done a splendid job. Indeed, the Prince is so much enamoured of his residence that he's rarely seen at Versailles. He's wrecked by gout and therefore stays at home. I do not believe His Highness is a lover of solitude. That I can confirm. The prince is a great lover of society, and albeit he's rarely seen at court, he nonetheless imitates its splendor in his Chantilly residence. For many a time he has summoned me to entertain him. He is generous and discerning. Where do you think you're going? The king's rising from bed has commenced, and Monsieur Bonton hardly has time to speak to you now. The family have begun to arrive. His Highness, the Dauphin, has returned from the hunt, as usual, and Monsieur the King's brother is already present, along with the Duke of Maine. By the gods, it is an admirable piece of work. This Paracel is sure of his skill. He paints these battle scenes wonderful well. Well, sir, what do you want?
No, I shan't, much to my regret. I have no time, for I must go and finish my work on the ceilings, though there's no point now. You insult me, sir. The decoration of the small hall is in the hands of Min Ya, a small master. I was speaking of the ceiling of the Salon of War, of which I have the charge. And so I should. This morning I was to continue to decorate the ceiling. But someone has spirited away my sketches. Nothing but the themes I was supposed to paint today on the ceiling of the Salon of War. You will understand my vexation. I know not, but conspiracies are rife in this chateau. It would not surprise me to learn that Minya was leader of a secret cabal that plots against me. He is jealous of the royal favor in which I bask and tries to discredit me since the disappearance of Colbert, my protector. I was about to ask as much of you. Be swift, I must have them before noon. If you hear any news, I shall be in the Salon of War. Hear this. I'm sorry, but Monsieur Bonton is too busy to speak with you now. I regret to say I've not, but Monsieur Lebrun has just crossed the salon. Monsieur Bonton has no time to speak with you for the moment. He is with the King. For the moment, Monsieur Bonton is busy with the King. I can, and I must. Monsieur Bonton cannot see you for the moment.
The court is attending the robing of the king. Monsieur Bonton said not to disturb him. I presume the king is being dressed. Let me see. At this time, the king's toilet is ending. He then takes a light collation. I should say in about uh, 15 minutes. Oh, very well. You may pass.